Hey guys, this is Jedif. In this video, we're gonna talk about your Onyx Annulet. You know that ring that you love to hate? You have a love-hate relationship with it? You know, the 421, 424 ring that you have used since two patches ago that, you know, just sits among your character, among all the other 441, 447 items, sits there at 424 and drags down your average item level? Well, guess what? Good news, it's getting nerfed in patch 10.1.5 by about 40%. They are nerfing all of the damage stones by 40%, which is fantastic. This means that you're finally going to be able to swap it out. But I actually have a little bit of information for you. You might be able to swap it out earlier than that. There's a few things we have to look into. But first, let's talk about like the whole sort of history of this ring and what happened where it went wrong. So in my opinion, the whole implementation of this ring was just an absolute disaster. And that's why they have to go ahead and nerf it now by 40%. So initially it was introduced in the 0.5 patch or 0.7 patch, I can't remember when it was, before, um, after the first raid, Vault of the Incarnates. It was introduced as like a fun little system to engage with at the end of the first raid um, with the Forbidden Reach, the kind of new zone that we got and the Scarab Vaults, which were, which was a little like mini game type of thing where you acquired the stones, you did it every week, there was like puzzles and it was fun for a few weeks, but it got old very quick. So when it first came out, everyone kind of complained because it was just too weak and you'd only really want to use the ring if you were like really low eye level. And part of the reason it felt so weak was because it just didn't have any secondary stats on it. And this is something that like everyone Immediately when they saw that, they were like, please just put secondary stats on this ring. Um, and they didn't. So this ring is only stamina and the stones. So with enough complaints, Blizzard went ahead and started buffing the stones one by one over the course of a couple days. Personally, I think the better solution instead of buffing the stones would have just been to apply those secondary stats. Even if it was just like, I don't know, mastery and verse right? It would have been something. Whether it's, you know, good for all classes or not, it's something that would just bridge the gap. But they didn't. They didn't, uh, they didn't do that. They decided to buff the stones by a substantial amount. A lot of them were buffed through the roof. Um, and it ended up in some pretty broken and insane combinations. Some of those combinations were nerfed and, you know, honed in, and some were not. So we ended up at a point where the ring was just so strong that it was giving huge power increases to teams that were currently progging on Razageth, and it helped a lot of them actually make the cut for Hall of Fame and Cutting Edge, which is cool, but at the same time, kind of strange, right? Um, you know, one item making such a difference. It's pretty wild. So going into the next raid, Avarice, that's the one we're currently in now, Obviously, there were some concerns about the ring staying too powerful, but I was able to ask Ian this question directly in a Q&A um, before the patch launched. There was a Q&A um, about Aberus and just that patch in general. So I asked what the intended power level of the amulet should be and when we can plan to replace it. So his answer was basically, you know, that it's a fun little ring to have, but it should get replaced pretty quickly once we start raiding non-entry level raid content in Avarice. And I mean, hey, clearly it didn't pan out as he said, right? Because here we are, far past race to world first, we're farming heroic. Um, you know, a lot of guilds are deep into mythic. A lot of guilds have actually killed mythic Sarkareth and the ring is still extremely good and it's being used quite often. You know, like I said earlier, we're decked out in full sets of 441, 447 gear while wearing a 424 ring. And, you know, if you have an Aeronog ring like I do, a Mythic Aeronog ring, you're using a 421 in the second slot. So between those two rings, that's a lot of missing stamina because, you know, the stamina levels scale with item level. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's just a lot of missing secondary stats as well. So a crafted ring at max eye level that you can get right now, 447, has 717 of each stat. We're getting zero of that while we're wearing the amulet. So I should mention that there are some specs that were able to replace the amulet pretty quickly and pretty easily. 
But in the case of Havoc Demon Hunter, for example, there are some very specific interactions with our talents and the way the spec works that really like pumps up the effectiveness of the amulet's procs. So the damage procs of the ring, you know, whether it's the freezing ice stone or the storm infused stone are hasted, meaning the more haste you have, the more you're attacking, the more they're procking. So that's first and foremost, right? Secondly, those damage procs are also affected by our talents know your enemy. This one right here, meaning that first of all, they're able to crit and when they do crit, they're benefiting from that extra crit strike damage bonus on top of, you know, being hasted and just the crazy damage that they do already. So that's why for Havoc, it's so good. And that's why we're still wearing it uh, this far into the patch. So because the ring was so powerful and accounting for so much of a player's overall damage, Blizzard had to go and balance classes around that in the meantime, which is crazy to think, right? They had to balance entire classes again because we had this one item that was just skewing things so much that they didn't even intend to have that powerful in the first place. So anyways, um, that's why now they're planning to cut all the stones power by 40%. And then we're seeing all of these new rebalancing changes that they're going to have to do to compensate for the fact that they had to rebalance previously around the ring. So yes, the ring is getting nerfed in patch 10.1.5. I think that's what the patch is. I, I lose track, honestly. Um, but when is that patch exactly? It's not going to be next week. It's not going to be the week after that. It's probably not anytime soon. Some people are speculating around like mid-July. Um, and that seems highly plausible to see, um, you know, just considering how much is on the PTR already. But like I said at the start of this video, there may actually be an opportunity for you to replace the ring already. You're not going to have to wait until 10.1.5. When we first started using the rings, we noticed that players who weren't playing their rotation properly had better results with their ring. They'd be doing like crazy amounts in their overall, like 14 to 20% of their overall damage in a key, all from the ring. And this was because the ring was doing more damage in comparison to their actual skills and abilities, potentially because they were utilizing less GCDs, meaning they weren't pressing their buttons fast enough, or they weren't lining up their buffs in their damage windows. So players who were performing better saw the ring do a smaller, but still substantial amount of their overall. Now that we're approaching 440 eye level and above, our character's damage is scaling up at a certain rate and our secondary stats are going up as well as our primary stat. And though both of those have increased drastically from when we were decked out in, you know, Vault of the Incarnate's gear. This affects the difference between the damage of our abilities, like our, our rotation, and the damage of the amulet. So because we're doing more damage with our abilities and our actual rotation, that's more in comparison to what the ring is able to output. And now what we're seeing is that when your gear is high enough, generally no earlier than like 440 eye level, and you have max eye level rings to add to your sim, that's when your amulet will be able to get swapped out for something with real secondary stats and proper amounts of stamina, which does feel great because we are losing some stamina with our current items that we're wearing, like the Sarkareth cloak and um, the uh, boots. So I do have a sim example that I can show you real quick. Let me pull it up here. So this is my character. This is in raid single target talent build here. And I simmed it with wearing the amulet and the seal of Diurnus chosen. So the rings you see me wearing here in game, right? 421 to 424. And I simmed a crafted ring, 447 crit haste with a socket. And lo and behold, it is telling me to unequip the amulet and put the crafted ring on for a total of 1,052 DPS gain, which is pretty substantial in a single target build. So there you have it. I would urge you guys to start simming your rings and just keep in mind as your eye level goes up, that's when you're gonna be more likely to be able to get rid of that ring, put something on that has actual secondary stats and stamina. And yeah, I hope you guys are able to replace this ring before it gets nerfed. Honestly, just out of principle, as it's kind of ridiculous that we've had to wear this thing for so long. 
So if you like this video, give it a like, uh, sub to the channel if you're not already subbed, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.